you're a guest among us and quite welcome, outsider. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Bloomseer Poplar, soothsayer and healer of Oasis. It brings me great honor to welcome you. In what we call the harvest month, the Great One creates seeds among his branches within seed pods. At the end of this time, the pods open and the seeds are carried quite easily upon the wind. It's quite beautiful. Wherever the seeds take purchase, they grow into trees, plants, grass, or all manner of wonderful things. He's not my God. He's everyone's God. You, me, everyone. This place isn't meant just for the tree minders. It's for all mankind. You'd think they'd realize that this place won't remain a secret forever. The caravans know about it, and you happened upon it. How long before someone comes to take this place by force? No, I say allow oasis to grow, and that issue becomes moot. Like I said, he's everyone's god. This place isn't meant just for the tree minders. It's for all mankind. My father was a healer like myself. He had the most curious books I would read about trees and plants and their medicinal properties. Many years later, I heard a rumor about a place such as this. I spent a decade in search of it. I've been in this wonderful place for over 15 years now. I was the third one to arrive here in Oasis. Tree Father Birch was a bit wary at first, but Leaf Mother Laurel convinced him to let me stay. If she hadn't been around, I doubt Birch would have ever let me stay here. After a while, they taught me their ways, and together we developed the ceremony of purification that you undertook. Be wary of the water in the caves. I fear they still carry the sting of radiation from the bombs. May the sap of his wisdom sustain you. is wonderful, isn't it? So you're the outsider, huh? You seem nice to me. I was born here, silly. Just get born, I guess. <laughs> you're funny. Oh, you mean Harold? He's really nice. Sometimes when I get really lonely, I go into the grove and talk to him. Sometimes I even curl up all cozy-like and sleep next to his root after I have a bad dream. I tell him what I'm scared of, and he tells me what he's scared of. It makes me feel better knowing I'm not the only one. Aww. I never knew an outsider could be scared of anything. Harold told me that he's scared of fire. If fire ever got on him, it would burn him and Bob until they were all gone. That's why we keep the fires far away from him. That's okay. I like talking about Harold. He's really nice. He's my best friend. Sometimes I even curl up all cozy-like and sleep next to his roots after I have a bad dream. I tell him what I'm scared of. My parents told me never to go past the old gate. There are monsters in there. May your spirit rest in his branches.
This place is wonderful, isn't it? It's very nice to meet you, outsider. I'm Branch Tender Linden. Well, I'm not so sure the Great One is a god. I mean, I don't believe in that sort of thing. However, I am beginning to realize he's special. Something greater than any of the creatures in the Wasteland. I was found dying in the wastes not far from here by a trader caravan. They knew about this place and brought me to Bloomseer Poplar. She nursed me back to health, and I've stayed ever since. I was a Brotherhood of Steel outcast. We had a deep patrol out here looking for some tech, and then got jumped by some death claws. They shredded everyone else and left me bleeding to death. If it wasn't for Oasis and Bloomseer Poplar, I'd be dead right now. Honestly, I've never seen anything like this place. It's beautiful. It's a shame only a few people will ever get to see it. There isn't much more to the story. I was dying and these people saved my life, so here I'll remain. I sort of fell into it, I guess. I woke up here and I just stayed. After a while, I became one of them. Oasis is located near what used to be an old mining town before the bombs fell. When the attack started about 200 years ago, many people took shelter in the natural caves that dotted the area. The old gate that stands at the mouth of Oasis Cave is the last piece of architecture from those days. May your spirit rest in his branches. What can I do for you on this beautiful day? I was brought here by his will. I heard his calling, and I followed. I believe only a few are worthy enough to find this place, and I am honored to be among them. That's why I dread the day Oasis overgrows its boundaries. I suppose so, but you found it. How many others will stumble across Oasis? Will they be friendly? I'm worried, outsider. I'm truly worried. He is the Great One, the Tree Father of Tree Fathers. There is no greater being in the world than he. I've dedicated my life to protecting this place from the outside world and I will never fail in that duty. I was brought here by his will. I heard his calling, and I followed. Isn't it wonderful? I had to accept the ideals of Tree Father Birch and cast away my dependence on technology. May you remain under the canopy of his protection. <laughs> 